If your board has an angled kicktail, it is defined by two parameters, an angle and a radius. The angle defines how steep the kick ultimately gets, and the radius defines how quickly it gets steep. A steeper angle means that the board's kick is closer to being vertical. A smaller radius means the kick bends to that angle more tightly. For example, a really small radius would feel like the board is simply kinked or sharply bent into that angle, while a very large radius would feel more bowl-like. The larger the angle and the smaller the radius, the steeper the board will feel. Steepness increases the pop angle of the board, which is the angle the board makes with the ground when popping up an ollie. Steeper pop angles usually help you pop your board off the ground a little higher. A steeper kicktail with a tighter kick radius will also help lock in your back foot just before the kick begins, which can help with stability when maneuvering your board. A smaller angle and larger radius will make the board feel less steep and reduce the pop angle. A lower pop angle usually helps the board feel more responsive as it will pop faster since it's closer to the ground. Angles and kicks also play a role in other board dynamics, like truck stands, rail flips, caspers, and other freestyle tricks that involve using the board in more ways than just with its wheels on the ground. For most types of riding, a tail angle of around 19 degrees with a kick radius of around 5 inches will provide a nice feel with a distinctive but not overly steep kicktail. Steep boards generally have kicktails that are around 20 degrees and higher with a kick radius of 4 inches or lower. Mellow boards generally have kicktails that are 18 degrees and lower with a kick radius of 6 inches or higher. To better understand and visualize how the tail angle and kicktail radius impact your board's shape, check out SkateCAD at SkateCAD.com.